did uh, talk about the teaching sheets and our lesson plans. Um, this, these are the teaching sheets that we're going to be using. Um, it will have everything that you're going to need to teach your class. And you can follow right along in the teaching sheets. Um, once you open, the first thing that you're going to find when you open the teaching sheets is you're going to find out the uh, things to go over with the parents on the first day. It'll have a list of just step by step of the things that you need to address with your parents on the first day. Um, the lesson plans also go in order from tadpole, frog, um, all the way up through the different levels. Okay? Um, at the back of the teaching sheets, there's actually a place for the safety day, and that's to go over the safety day. All right? So as long as you have your teaching sheets, you should have everything you need to actually teach the class as far as um, um, the plan of teaching the class. What I'd like to talk to you a little bit about is um, how to read these teaching sheets. Okay? Each class will have um, a class objective, and it also has a, uh, it has a course objective and it also has a class objective. Uh, the course objective is what they will need to know for that particular course. So for instance, uh, the beginner minnow level class, the course objective is to get them to swim 10 feet, jump in, uh, get back to the wall. Those are the two course objectives. So when you're teaching to the course objectives by knowing that, um, you know exactly how you should be able to pace the class. That is our course objectives. Then, as far as your class objectives, um, you'll have class objectives for like class one, getting comfortable and getting wet. Those are the, that's, that's the objective for the class. So you will do different skills that actually work with getting comfortable and getting wet. Okay? Um, the tadpole class. Um, in the tadpole class, there's actually three different things. You have the baby tadpole, you have the regular tadpole, and you have the frog. Um, of there, it'll talk, a, it'll break it down into how the things you would do differently in each one of those classes. Um, it talks about the skill, in which, which can be the song. Then it'll talk about the different um, skills that you actually need to actually teach the class, and those will also be are also in the video. Um, give you any type of swim patterns that you need and on the bottom of the lesson plan for that particular day It'll give you maybe some notes that'll help you for that particular class that you should actually um, that you might want to uh, address Each class in the tadpole and frog um, you know, there's gonna be one page per class Okay um, So you'll actually have eight different pages one for each class in the advanced class, in the advanced levels, beginner minnow, advanced minnow, fish, um, in the upper level classes, there's actually one page and all the eight classes are on that one particular page. These are all just notes and more like of an outline style. So it's not in super um, descriptive, it's just so you can look at the, the look at the lesson plans and um, help keep you on track. Um, I also want to talk a little bit about class management. When you're teaching the class, it's kind of broken down like this. The first five minutes of the class should be more of um, getting in the pool, a uh, water adjustment, a little bit of review of what you have done the previous class. It could be a song or game. That's going to be like your warm up. Then you have 20 minutes of the meat of the class. Those will be the new things that you're going to go over. The four or five new things that you're going to go over for that particular day. Just to, re just to recap on that, five minutes of the warm up. 20 minutes of the class, five minutes of more of a cool down exercise. And that it would be your class structure.